Welcome to this video where I'll show you how to make a simple box plot in Excel. A box plot is a type of chart which shows the spreads and centres of a data set and measures the quartiles, the median and the outliers. In our example we have several call centre agents and their average call times and want to graphically depict the data using a box plot. To do this we're going to select the column containing the call times We'll then go into the Insert tab, click the Statistics Chart icon, and select the box plot. Let's now remove the chart title, add data labels, remove the x-axis, and also resize the chart. To make the chart more presentable, we'll also format the y-axis so that it only shows values between 300 and 900. We'll also format the data labels to remove the decimal places. And finally, we'll remove the chart fill to make the data labels more visible. As you can see, our box plot is showing the median, which is the middle value, in this case 569. It has the highest and lowest values, or outliers, which are 786 and 413. And it has the 25th percentile value and the 75th percentile value. In other words, 25% of the call times are less than 471, while 75% of the call times are less than 704. Now interestingly, Excel's box plot also provides the mean or average value, which is 585. As you can see, the average value is slightly greater than the median, which reflects positive skew. Therefore, the box plot nicely summarizes our data and allows us to identify the general tendency. Now, how can we check whether the values in the box plots are correct? Well, the minimum value can be found by using the min function and then selecting the column containing the call times. The first quartile or 25th percentile can be found by using the quartile function. So we select the column containing the call times and then type one to give the first quartile. The median can be found using the median function and Q3 can once again be found using the quartile function. Just this time we'll use 3 instead of 1. Finally the maximum and mean can be found using the max and average functions. While the minimum, median, maximum and mean all match the values in the box plots, you may have noticed that the Q1 and Q3 values are different. Now the reason for this is that the box plot defaults to using the exclusive method of calculating the quartiles, while the quartile functions default to using the inclusive method. In other words, the median is included in the calculation. Now to make the values match, we can format our data series and select inclusive median. Therefore all values now match. So that's how you can make a simple box plot in Excel. It nicely summarizes data visually and allows us to identify outliers and the general tendency. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.